hey guys this is tech howdy i welcome you to this video tutorial series where we're building a cms application using angular 9 and asp.net core 3.0 in the last video tutorial we successfully installed ms sql server on our mac os operating system and we have installed the ide and the code editor as well in this video tutorial we will create our project so we will create our base project using uh, Visual Studio IDE. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is go ahead and start Visual Studio. So we could go to a launch pad and then start Visual Studio. Since I'm going to use this application always, so I'm just going to keep it in dock. So it's always here and easily accessible. Now the next step that we want to do is go ahead and create a folder on our desktop let's call this folder as a cms application or whatever you would like to name this folder so i've named this folder as cms underscore core underscore ng and you could name it whatever you like i'll have all my project files inside this folder now the next thing that you want to do is go to search and open your terminal type in terminal hit enter you should have your terminal open you could also keep it in your dock right click and keep the terminal in your dock by doing this you will always have it handy here in in the dock so what we would like to do here is we would like to check what dotnet core version of the sdk is installed on our computer so to do this on a mac all we need to do is type the following command dotnet dash dash list dash sdks sdks and hit enter so as you can see as soon as i hit enter you will see that the version that displayed on the terminal is 3.1.3 which is basically the latest version of dotnet core available and while we installed visual studio ide the latest version was installed at that point if you are on windows you could also check what dotnet core version you have sdk you have installed on your windows machine by just going to this link which i will be providing in the video description all you have to do is depending on your operating system choose the options and you will have the command it's pretty much the same for windows linux and for mac os so it should work but there are also some other commands to check any other information that you want to check so for example i want to check what's the uh, .NET runtime version installed so i can do dot net dash dash list runtimes and hit enter so i have the following runtimes available for me for my application to run so that is good now let's close our terminal and now let's go to our visual studio ide and click on the option new Now in the Visual Studio ID, we'll have an option to create a project of different type, but here what we are focusing on creating a project which is built using ASP.NET Core. So under ASP.NET Core, the project that I want to create is the Angular app. So let's create the ASP.NET Core Angular app, C Sharp, and then click Next. So at the moment, I don't want to install or implement any authentication so I will keep this option as no authentication and then click next for the project name I'm going to name this project once again CMS underscore core underscore ng and I'll change the location to my desktop the folder that I created so I'm not going to implement any git version control at the moment because I'll create a separate video for that and I'll show you how to do that so let's just click create so Visual Studio 
IDE is creating and successfully installed all the packages that are required. So if we have to just click run, our application should start running on the browser, but we do have some errors. Let's first clean up and fix those errors. Okay, so if you click on the errors, you will see that the error that's displayed on the error tab show, tells us that the node version uh, is basically, we, we require Node.js to be installed on a computer in order for NPM to install the required packages to run the Angular application. So all the required packages that are needed can be installed by a package manager, which is NPM. And to install NPM, we have to install Node.js. So let's go ahead and install Node.js before we start running this application. So let's go to our browser and search for Node.js. So Node.js, we have it here. So now the option that we have here is to download Node.js for Mac OS, but if you are on a Windows, it will automatically detect your operating system and give you the option to download Node.js for Windows. So I'll download the latest current version with latest features. So I'll click on that specific version and you, as you can see that the file is being downloaded. Okay, so Node.js is now downloaded. So we have uh, that downloaded in our downloads folder. So let's click on this file here so that it starts running. Let's install Node.js. Click continue. And I click agree. Install, supply my password. And now Node.js would be installed on my computer. Click close. Just to trash. So to check if Node.js was successfully installed on my computer or on your operating system, you can open back your terminal and you can type the following command, which is npm v which stands for version. So let's hit enter and it will tell you that Node.js was installed. So you will see a version number over here. So now Node.js is installed. So let's install uh, Angular globally on our machine. To install Angular CLI on our machine so that we can build Angular applications, we would have to install Angular CLI globally. So the first thing that we want to do is using our package manager, which is npm, which is npm install dash g, which stands for globally. We will type the required package, which is angular forward slash CLI. So by doing this, okay, so let's just increase the font size. So now it's clear. So let's install the command npm install globally. So that's the command that you're going to type npm install globally angular CLI. I'll provide the command in the video description. In case if you need to know more information about Angular CLI, you can go to this website, which is cli.angular.io, and you can find all the information over here. This is the official website. So let's click enter. This will take some time. So I've got some errors which probably you'll also see on your terminal. Uh, that's because uh, we don't have 
the access rights to create or the permission to create any folders uh, so to first thing I'd like to clear this terminal and then on a Mac uh, what you would need to do is before the npm install command you would have to type in sudo sudo npm install and then hit enter now we will be asked to provide a password let's provide a password and now the uh, installer will have the right to create all the required folders uh, that are needed to install angular globally so now we're being asked that do you want to send an information to google because it's maintaining angular i'll say no and that's it so now angular cli is installed so if i type the command ng dash dash v i should see sorry ng dash dash version i should see that I have Angular installed successfully, Angular CLI, you'll see the version, I have the latest version which is 10, so, so this video this tutorial was supposed to be Angular 9, but as this video tutorial is progressing, we see that Angular has been updated, we have the latest version which is 10, so I will update it in the video description as well, so you, uh, we all are on the same page. So now, Angular CLI has been installed, so now, let's go back to our Visual Studio IDE and let's rebuild this application so the application is now built and I don't see any errors uh, you should also see the same no errors so let's go ahead and now run this application the build was successful uh, so it's asking us that uh, we need to install a HTTPS certificate since the HTTPS certificate is invalid. So let's go ahead and click run. So it will install a temp certificate for us. It will ask you to enter your password. Let's enter your password. So it creates the certificate for us. Right again. And now let's install and trust so again enter a password so by doing this the browser will run the application on HTTPS so the application is built now it's loading it and now you can see the application has completed loading on the browser and if we go and check the home counter and fetch data uh, tabs which are the default tabs which are created by the angular application all of them work fine we don't have any errors so this should be it for this video tutorial where we have successfully set up a base project for our asp.net core and angular application there are some changes that we need to do to this project especially the angular project so we will do that in the next video tutorial for now this should be it for this video tutorial if you have any questions use the comment section and I'll answer your questions if you are searching for any links that were shown in this video you can find those links in the video description thank you